Libra. Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is your Rachel. reading. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies vice versa. Uh, if you do need a person reading, that information is going to be down below. And what else? Yeah, that's it. This is a lot of risky business for someone, you know, it's like I think this person has huge trust issues. More than trust issues, yes, this person could have been someone, you know, who's gone through hell and back and now they're very afraid of taking a risk. But again, I think you're dealing with someone who always needs to know what they're going to two steps forward okay they can't just they, they're just not someone like you know someone who just take a leap someone who take a risk and not knowing this is someone who has a lot of fear of the unknown okay again it could be because this person could have tried something with you before they could have tried having a relationship with you, with you before and things didn't quite turn out the way they wanted it to or this is someone who has trust issues from the past they could have been very um you know, like someone who just jumps into something without thinking, very impulsive, very reckless, and then they regretted it big time. Okay, so now this is this is the overall energy of the reading. Yeah, in the past year with the two of wands in reverse here, I feel that someone was no more at a crossroads. Okay, maybe there was a decision that was being made about whatever I don't know, but this is someone making a decision about something in the past. Current situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I think uh, Libra, you're very, very focused on your work, your career. I think more than anything, you're I'm getting you're no more reliant on someone to offer you the stability and security that you're looking for. You're focused on your stability, your growth, your security, family, kids, whatever have you, okay? But again, I'm getting someone who's being very practical and grounded right now. You're trying to g give a very practical approach, a very logical approach to things, and you're keeping your emotions on the side. What's on your mind, Libra? See, you're walking away from a relationship and that's the decision you, that's the decision that you made. You don't want to take a risk with this person anymore because this person could have put, put you through hell and back. They could have really cut you through deep. This was a very disappointing situation that you had with them. Again, I'm getting you could have wanted stability, security. I'm getting commitment. You wanted something stable and very grounded with this person. This You could have waited for a very long time for this person to make a decision. And I guess when they did make a decision, that's when you, took, you made the decision for them. And you walked away. You walked away from a situation that wasn't making you happy. And now you're very focused on your work yourself on your growing you realize your worth your value you realize what you deserve and you're not going to settle for anything less i like that the reason for the reading ace of pentacles in reverse yes so see there was a delay in a commitment this is someone who you're dealing with who has a lot of they doubt themselves a lot okay this is a lot of self-doubt a lot of do i have everything that it takes to make this happen because the ace of pentacles it's a gift from the universe okay it's something that the universe gives you a blessing but this blessing, it may be a very small seed, but it takes a lot of work to make this grow, to nurture this, to feed this, all right? This takes a lot of investment, energy, commitment, a lot of focus to make it grow. But someone's really doubting it if they can make it happen, okay? So again, this could be a delayed opportunity or a missed opportunity. We'll see. In the near future with the world in reverse here, I'm feeling that there is an incomplete cycle. Someone feels that there's some unfinished business between you guys. Again, I'm feeling you could have cut this person off in the middle, okay? And this person could not get in terms with the end of the relationship and you just walked away. Because something's still unfinished. You haven't, again, I'm getting you're not learning your lessons or this person is not learning their lessons. Maybe this person wants to come back to you. Maybe they even will or maybe they already have. I don't know where you are in your storyline, all right? But I think this time you're the one who's not ready to take a risk. But yeah, there is unfinished business between you both in the near future. What you're doing right now with the moon here, Libra, I think you have a lot of fear of the unknown. Again, the fool in reverse and the moon here, all right? So again, I could be reading for the cross watcher, Libra. Probably it's you're the one who this person wants a commitment from, but take it how it resonates. What you're doing, I'm going to read it as Libra. All right, you can switch the energies. Right now, what you're doing, Libra, is with the moon here, you have a lot of fear of the unknown. Either you're suppressing your emotions, okay, due to a lot of fear of what happened in the past, a lot of fear, stress and anxiety. But again, I'm getting a lot of suppressing of emotions because of what happened in the past with this person or because of what happened in your past relationships. But again, it could also mean that you're suppressing your emotions, suppressing your emotions. You have like this veil, okay? And you're not showing this person how you really feel, although you have a lot of deep emotions for this person. It could be that you have these emotions, you're not showing it to this person, you're walking away. But actually, you're trying to focus on your self-worth at the same time just trying to divert your mind 
but otherwise otherwise also i feel you realize yourself you realize that um what you it's like i'm getting that you realize that what you want it, you're not asking for the wrong thing you're asking it from the wrong person could be in your environment again with the death here someone knows that things have ended all right it could also if you're reading this for the cross watcher and libra then this is you who's ended things with this person okay with the death card here you want some change you want something to transform okay and if if it's not happening you're just ended things and you walked away and with the moon here this person really really has a lot of fear of the unknown see this is what's happening with the four of wands in reverse Whoever, whichever person this is, right? This person has a lot of fear of commitment, is what I'm getting, okay? Because with the four of wands in reverse here, I guess your connection, your relationship or situationship, it just wasn't reaching that point of stability and security, that growth, expansion, okay? There's a lot of disharmony within the connection. I'm getting now that you've walked away. Now this person is wanting to see things for what they are. They're seeing things for reality, and now they really want you back. because they are hiding their feelings from you you went it you went it with them but they are hiding their feelings they feel a lot for you but again with the four of wands in reverse here it's like for them you've shut the door on their face okay and they are feeling very left out without you they just don't know what to do likely outcome ace of cups that's what i said right this person wants to come back to you they want a renewal in love they want a new beginning in love with you but with the fool in reverse here either you or them one of you is not sure if you want this i think it's more them it's more them who doesn't who doesn't know if you're going to even let them in or it's just them because they just have a lot of fear this is someone who has a lot of fear of commitment also but now that you've ended things with them again i'm getting they realize what they've lost they now realize your worth and value but they see you very focused on yourself again the root of the issue is a delay in a commitment that's all why is the fool in reverse here for the fool in reverse too many cards give me one card why the fool in reverse page of wands in reverse you're de okay okay libra that could be severe serious conflicts between you guys and communication being the biggest issue between you guys you're the queen of pentacles libra you're dealing with a page you're wanting a commitment from a page this is someone you're dealing with who's very unsure about what they want okay again you're dealing with someone a this person has a lot of fear about taking that leap of faith they're taking leaps of doubt they're thinking every way in which how this can't work out rather than thinking about how it can work out you on the other side are super confident you know you're like super super cool on your own you don't need anyone you're financially independent you're stable you're grounded you're practical this person is just not ready to step it up okay that's the entire issue here and that's why they're not ready to take this leap of faith this person is just not ready to step up their game all right that's why they're unsure if they still want to communicate with you or not or even if they want to they just don't know what to say Why is the page of wands in reverse? So you're dealing with a very immature energy because I even saw the five of swords, which is someone where you know, like someone is walking away, or they feel like you walked away because you were just fed up and sick and fed up of the mind games that they played with you. What is the page of wands in reverse? You're you're being very patient. I think you're being very patient with the temperance here, or it could also be them who's also being very patient at the same time. Again, I'm not getting them being as patient, but I'm getting you being more patient. Again, I'm getting more like for you. I think you're telling yourself, Libra, that if it's meant for you, it won't pass you by. No chasing, no stress, no anxiety. What's meant for you is coming towards you. You don't need to go around um uh trying to control the outcome. Yeah. You're going to wait patiently for this person to realize their mistake. Even if you're not waiting for this person to come back, I think you're just being very patient and you're wanting to stay away from any kind of mind fuckery, any mind games, or any kind of drama that this person is dragging you into. Because again, with the Knight of Wands in reverse here, I feel you're dealing with someone who's very in and out, in and out, in and out of your life. Someone very unreliable, very insincere. Okay, and I think with the Two of Swords in reverse here, you see that very clearly now, very clearly. And you pissed, you're pissed off. You've cut this person off. It's like I've had it. I'm done. This is it. You're very pissed off. Or it could even be them who's pissed off. But I'm finding you 
who's very angry with the entire situation. You're just very harsh, very blunt. And it's like, I think you're just not ready to talk to this person. You've just completely cut the cord. What is the two of wands in reverse in the past? What is the two of wands in reverse? This person wasn't taking action. This was this is someone very very indecisive again someone who lacks a lot of confidence this is someone who's holding back a decision also in the past someone who's trying to stay um in their comfort zone someone who tried to make a safer decision or someone who tried to do something where they were had a lot of fear of change so they chose not to make a decision all right and they kept you at a crossroads for a very long time because of which things could have been very stuck and stagnant so yeah you were dealing with someone who was just not confident about their decisions again someone who was very the king of wands in reverse yes he can be a player i'm not getting so much of a player yes it does have a bad rep but i'm not saying cheating or lying but yes this is just someone who's just not ready to step up the game someone who's just non-committal okay and they kept you on hold for a very long time all right you started losing hope in this connection with the star in reverse here and that's when you said no more i'm done i'm fed up this is it the two of wands is an energy where you can, you know, if you don't make a choice, you can be stuck and stagnant for a very, very long time, you know. And that's what exactly happened with you. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? You left someone out in the cold. You left someone out in the cold with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. This is the divine connection. But now it's like you were dealing with someone who was, again, unstable, not stable, not offering you security, commitment, like I said. Someone who was just not in it for the long term, for the long game. Very focused on themselves. Someone very selfish. Someone who's all about me, 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 me. It was an extremely toxic connection. You could have been obsessed with this connection. They were addicted to you. You were obsessed with them. But again, it was a very draining energy. You know, it's like by the end of the end of the day, you feel you've just given and given and given to this relationship, but it gave you nothing back. And it just sucked out your energy, okay? Like an energy vampire. And you left them out in the cold. You shut this person off. And now you're very focused on your stability and your growth. I'm getting more like, you know what, Libra? I don't need you anymore. Again, I'm getting over and over again. You're not apologetic about asking for something stable or committed from this person. It's more like you're realizing I was not asking for something wrong. I wasn't reaching for the stars. I was just asking for it from the wrong person. It could be. What is the Five of Pentacles? What is the Five of Pentacles here? What is the Five of Pentacles? Five of the Five of Pentacles, please. Page of Pentacles. You shut them out. They're missing you. It's a very codependent relationship. They've been depending on you for all their emotional needs. They're coming in with an apology. They want something stable. Now they want something stable. Now that you shut them off. Now that you walked away. Now that you cut them off. Now that you realize your worth value. Now that you realize that you don't need all this from anyone else when everything is within you. They want to come back. They want to apologize to you. Now they want to come and they want to open up to you. Okay. Now they want to be emotionally vulnerable. They want to be emotionally open. All right. But I don't think you're having it. They could have put you in a third party situation. Okay. But they're ending that third party situation. Okay. This person could have ghosted you. This person could be someone who has a habit of ghosting. Okay. Every time life hits them hard, they need to ghost. They need to just go away because they want to be an escapist. They don't want to face the situation. But yeah, they're coming in with an apology. They're coming in with an apology. They're coming in with that love offer, that commitment, that emotional satisfaction that you always wanted, that you were always wanting from that. They're coming in now that you shut them off. But you're too focused on your work, on, on yourself. I love it. You're being very grounded and very logical this time. No more emotional talking with this person. Your approach towards this person has completely changed. What is the Eight of Cups? What is the Eight of Cups? Judgment. You're making a final decision of walking away, Libra. For you, it's like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm walking away because it's just not making me happy because there's been, this has been a very, very huge disappointment, a, a huge element of regret. 
okay a huge element of regret for the moment because you're in this okay i'm seeing a two ways either when you're walking away this person is coming in and they want a reconciliation because they have a huge regret this is a lot of regret guilt about whatever happened in the past this is someone crying with spilt milk they're rushing in to talk to you but my problem here is that we still have the devil here so this is still a toxic connection okay there's still um like they say right you're not sorry till you don't change your behavior or you don't change your actions just saying sorry and doing the same thing again and again and have repeating the same negative pattern is not being sorry for all right you rather not say sorry you know so yeah they're coming in but they still have that element of toxicity they're still very addicted to you okay so take it how it resonates i feel you're making a final decision because things just didn't go quite the way you expected it to be what is the judgment what is the judgment all right that's what it was you're finally you're on your own you're on your own you're wanting to stay very single and independent from this person all right this is your final decision libra you're letting this person go and it's like you're being extremely assertive you've learned your lessons you've completed a cycle etc and now for you it's like i'm done this is a huge wake up call for you call for you and you're going through like a personal transformation and this is what you had to hear maybe you were avoiding these signs from the universe maybe you were not letting the tower crash but finally with the tower in reverse you're now you're trying to rebuild on your own this person wants to come in and rebuild on their own or they want to rebuild with you and with three of swords in reverse here they're wanting a reconciliation they want this they're stuck on you they're stuck on you as hell but you're okay on your own you realize your value a lot of realizing your worth your value um realizing you don't need anyone a lot of self independence financial independence self reliance etc you don't need anyone you are whole and complete on your own no one you don't need anyone to make you happy all right why is the ace of pentacles in reverse why is the ace of pentacles in reverse fear of commitment big fear of commitment someone was constantly trying to be deceptive this is someone again i'm not getting cheating i'm getting someone who was not ready to make a choice this is a very difficult choice okay doesn't have to be between two people it can it very well can because the lover does represent choices but it's also represents someone making a life changing a very significant decision okay so someone had to make a choice about probably committing to you i'm getting a lot of commitment all right but this person constantly tried to avoid this they constantly tried to get away with this they constantly tried to run away from this commitment you made them emotionally very very happy okay they saw you as their happily ever after so yes libra this person emotionally fulfilled you you emotionally fulfilled them so there was a lot of emotional fulfillment but when it came to putting in that label to when it came to you know like asking for something stable and exclusive for someone to be exclusive with you that's when this person started copping out that's when this person started sneaking away they try to get away with this all right that's when you felt very passed up and betrayed and now you think by walking away this is what you're doing you're doing justice to yourself fair enough but yeah there was a lot of emotional fulfillment you guys literally loved each other this person loved you too all right do still does but again with the seven of swords here this person constantly tried to run away from a commitment okay fear of commitment or this is someone who was having a very hard time making a choice this was someone who was probably taking the easier way out if you understand what i'm saying okay that's why there is a delay in a commitment why is the world in reverse here something still unfinished something's coming back around see someone feels you're that emotional happiness you're that emotional fulfillment right but you cut this person off and i think in the near future again something's still going to remain unfinished between you guys there is a lot of emotional happiness a lot of fulfillment but i think there's someone here with the magician in reverse who is lacking the willingness and lacking that action to make it happen again a lot of self doubt you're dealing with someone who lacks a lot of confidence to make it happen a lot of confidence this person just hasn't been able to take action towards you it's like they kept taking all the emotional needs that they had from you but when it came to offering you what you wanted there was like oh, i don't know how to do that i don't know what's emotional satisfaction what's emotional needs i don't know how to do that i only know how to take i don't know how to give all right what is the moon
Okay, this person is suppressing their emotions. But again, with the nine of wands in reverse here and the moon here, this person is finally ready to get their guards down. Libra, they're ready to let their guards down. They're ready to forgive and learn. Not like forgive and learn, uh, not forgive you, but I'm getting they're ready to forgive or they're learning from their mistakes. They're learning, you know, again, I'm getting Libra. This has nothing to do with you. This is more like a past relationship, that baggage, because of which they had trust issues with you or because of which they were not ready to jump in or take that leap of faith, right? They're ready to let their guards down. They're ready to open up. They're ready to be vulnerable to you. But again, with the moon here, they have a lot of fear. So yeah, this person's there's still going to be a little more time before they completely open up, but they're ready to do it, okay? Because this person has a lot and lot and lot of love for you. King of Cups, someone who's very, very difficult to read. Very difficult to read. So yeah, this person could love you to the moon and back. They do. But again, not the best person who's very expressive, okay? Not very expressive. Now they're trying, they're trying to trust their intuition. They've mastered their emotions. And they're ready to talk. The high priest is in reverse here. They're ready to talk. Or it could also be that there's something that has been revealed when you went away that makes them realize that they need to make a move and they need to let their guards down. It's like they were punishing you for something that you didn't even do. What is the death? Fly for the death. Yeah, see? You ended things with this person, but now there is no more confusion, you know? You end up things with this person because you probably thought that this person was extremely manipulative. You thought this person was playing games and this was just someone, you know, who was who had a very self-serving energy, you know, like they would do only what would make them happy. They would get what they want and leave, you know, someone who would just say the right things, the right words, they had the gift of the gap and they would constantly manipulate you in every way, okay? And that's why you ended things with this person. It could also mean that you ended things with this person because you just could not make it happen you would have tried to manifest this over and over again but it just wasn't happening and now you see things you have a reality check about what's going on and now this person wants to come in nine of cups like i said right they want to be vulnerable they want to open up to you because they realize that something was a one-sided situation they realized that they were giving you the bare minimum what is the four of wands in reverse this person loves you very much but they're stuck in their head we have the four of wands in reverse with the two of cups so i'm getting that this person the whale is off whatever they were uh, trying to ignore all this while the whale is off now and finally they realize how much they love you how much they need you and uh, the only problem is with the eight of swords they realize they're stuck in their head they're still not out of their head okay they want to avoid a disaster with you. They want, and if you've let the tower crash, they want to rebuild with her, right? But six of swords in reverse. This person is just not ready. Um, it's their subconscious thoughts. Whatever happened in the past, right? They're not ready to learn from whatever happened. They're not ready to forgive. They're not ready to move on from what happened in the past. They revisit their past over and over again. I'm getting this person revisits their pattern. Every single time life shit goes real, you know? Every single time something happens, right? This person goes back to becoming what they are. And they're still doing the same thing, Libra. So you need to take care of that. They're still stuck in their head. Eight of Swords. This is someone who's creating their own issues and they're coming in their own way there is a lot of love here they have a lot of love for you they want to get their guards down but again it's the pattern it's the repetitive pattern that they need to kill they need to do that and that's what you did with the death here that's how you ended things with this person because you realize it was just something that needs to end otherwise it's just going to go on and on and on and it was draining you out it was killing your confidence you know what is this ace of cups however i think they're coming in with this love offer what is this ace of cups a renewal in love. What is the Ace of Cups? Six of Wands in reverse. Again, the same shit. Ace of Cups, Six of Wands in reverse. I'm getting someone who wants a renewal. Yeah. So I'm getting... This person wants this renewal of love with you. They want this brand new beginning with you. But I think with the six of wands in reverse here, this person has a lot of ego. You're dealing with someone who's very egoistic, overinflated ego and arrogance. It's like someone who wants to come in towards you, but they don't want to put in the work. They want you to put in all the work. Again, 
Six of Swords in reverse here, stuck in their head. They're stuck on you. They want to come back to you. But again, a lot of ego. A lot of ego. Also a lot of self-doubt because things have already been disappointing earlier. There's been a failure. You, your relationship didn't really reach that point of success. So it's already there. So again, they're constantly doubting themselves of whether it's going to work out with you or not. They know it was a disappointing situation earlier, you know. So they're just doubting the thing again. And with the Six of Swords in reverse here and the Four of Swords here, I think they're doing a lot of thinking, but they're not taking action. Four of Swords. A lot of thinking. It's The situation is on their mind, but again, they're not doing anything about it. They want forward moment with you, all right? They want forward moment with you. They want passionate communication. They want to talk to you. It is coming in. But again, with the Hangman in reverse here, I feel that you could be dealing with someone who's got a very one-sided perspective or someone who's very rigid, someone who's very stubborn, someone who's very stuck. They don't like to see things from another person's point of view, okay? Very rigid. Give me one more card for the Six of Wands in reverse. Where's the Six of Wands in reverse for Libra? Again. They're going to repeat the same pattern is what I'm getting. There will be a renewal in love, but I, I think it's going to repeat and do. it's going to be like same shit, different day. Six of pentacles in reverse. There is going to be a renewal between you guys, okay? But with the six of wands in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse, like lack of forward movement because someone is just not ready to put in the work with the six of pentacles in reverse. Someone's just again going to offer the same bare minimum, same bare minimum. I think you're going to see it very clearly with the devil and the two of swords and reverse that this is super fucking toxic. Super toxic. And you're on your way out. You anyways are. You've already left the building. They're coming in again. You're the queen of pentacles. They're the page of pentacles. That's what they're offering you. So again, I feel this is someone who's very, very codependent on you. Someone very needy, you know. They need you. They want you. But it's just like they don't know how to give. They only know how to take. They love you. Granted. But love has to be reciprocated too, right? So that's why I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading resonates with you. Libra, comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.